guys, it's Fingerin91, and I'm talking about Cyberpunk 2077 again. Yeah. Well, just to let you guys know some good news here. For those of you who do want your refunds and you guys bought it for the PlayStation, they are giving refunds. SIE, or Sony Interactive Entertainment, has already said that they are going to be giving refunds to anyone who bought Cyberpunk 2077 via PlayStation Store, right? But that's not all. They are also removing Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store until further notice. Now, RGT85 pointed out that this is like unheard of or something, I think that's what he said, right? Or something like that. But yeah, because I said like in my previous video, I said something along the lines that it was like uncharted territory. It's just weird what's going on with Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, we've seen games release, and I'm not going to say broken, but we've seen game release like, let me go with maybe before they should be. And they've had certain issues and which have been fixed, you know, with patches and stuff in the future. But I'm not sure if we've ever seen a AAA game, at least, get actually taken down from the PlayStation Store. I'm not sure if it's removed yet, but they said they are removing it. So it's just very weird what's going on here. But, but, but I, think this, I think this is a lesson for the future. See, I've pretty much been of the opinion that it's better to delay the game until it's ready than to release it beforehand, right? And I'm still of that opinion. Better to delay the game until it's ready. And this kind of just shows that you should delay a game until you're ready to bring it out. Do not bring it out until you're ready to bring it out. I'm not saying that because there's always going to be problems on release. There's probably always going to be need for patches. We're all humans. We all make flaws, right? But you see what's happening here? This game is now being removed from the PlayStation Store. I'm not even putting down CD Projekt Red or anything. I'm just saying it may be a good lesson like for future games. Like maybe developers will realize, hey, we got to make sure our games are working well before we release them on the consoles because this kind of will now be a precedent because like I said this is kind of like uncharted territory we're going through here so this kind of will be the precedent now anyway will you guys be going and getting your refunds for, for those of you who bought it on PlayStation and what do you guys think about this issue at a, as a whole it's just weird in my opinion let me know in the comments below thank you for watching remember to like share and subscribe and may God bless you all